One of the things we can do to get a visual overview of our survey responses is to take advantage of creating charts and views and dashboards just like we would in Dynamics 365 customer engagement for any type of entity. So we can do this on our survey responses which is great. So first thing we're looking at a list of survey responses and we have our show chart button so we can click on that and immediately we can see that we've got a chart that opens out so I've got some system charts that I've created and the first one we're looking at is net promoter score by survey so we can go ahead and expand that um, you can use this obviously in create a view that only shows responses where there was a net promoter score question so we can see there we've got some blanks but we've also got based on the survey we can see um, how many we've got that have given a 5 or a 7 or a 10 whatever that might be all right so then let's have a look we've also got a responses by survey so this is going to give us the number of responses for each of the surveys that we've got. We can see how many people um, or how many responses we've actually received for each of those surveys. And then finally, the last one we've got is one that is showing sentiment by survey. So again, we could have a view that just shows um, responses where there was uh, an actual sentiment um, response given or basically somebody had filled out some kind of text so that was the ability for it to be analysed for, for the sentiment to see if it was positive, neutral or negative. Um, so we can see the blanks there, but we've got a nice overview to see um, how many responses we've got for each of our surveys and whether it's positive, neutral or negative. So that's one place we can go directly to our survey responses and we can view some charts. What we can also do is if I go to the contacts and then let's look at a contact record. So we've got a tab that I've added onto the form and on that tab I've basically added um, two subgrids but when you've got the subgrid you can display just the chart. So now we're looking at charts to show all of the responses by survey so somebody might actually fill out a survey multiple times maybe when you're closing a case they get sent that case closure survey request so we can see per survey how many times somebody's responded then we've also got that sentiment by survey so again based on those survey responses how positive neutral or negative were the responses okay then lastly if we go up to our dashboards we can see there that we can put these charts on a dashboard just like you would in, in any um, regular scenario um, that's not about Forms Pro so you're just going to go ahead and create your dashboard and then add on whatever charts you want to see on that dashboard. So three different places where you can go ahead and do that you could obviously do the same thing as we've done with contacts here if you're uh, sending out surveys to leads um, and also to accounts so if you're linking them to those types of records basically anywhere where you're actually setting that survey response regarding a specific entity you can do the same thing you can add those subgrids and display them as charts so hopefully this gives you a couple of ideas a way in which to see that um, visual overview of your forms pro survey responses Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.